Hello powerful peeps, it's Manny Cabrera with Powerful Days with Manny Cabrera. I hope that you are having an amazing day. Uh, my name is Manny Cabrera. I am, the, like I said, I am the Chief Instructor and Owner at Sidekicks Family Martial Arts Center. We have two locations in the Fishhawk or Lithia area of Hillsborough County, as well as in the Meadow Point area in Wesley Chapel, just across the county line into Pasco County. Anyways, I'm here today. I'm excited to be online with you guys, uh, coming to you live, actually, in our first broadcast from my new office at our brand new location uh, in Fishhawk. Uh, we actually recently, the reason why we took a little bit of a hiatus is we moved a couple of uh, weeks ago, and uh, we're finally into our new space. In fact, if you hear some noise, they're actually in the other side of our building, actually building out our new space. So I'm really excited to be sharing this with all of our members pretty soon. Anyways, today, as soon as we, you know, we're going to give everybody a couple minutes to get back on or to get online with us, we're going to actually going to share with you today the secret formula um, that's going to help you, you know, help you to teach your kids to deal with big feelings as well as to overcome obstacles. I got a really great formula that I learned from an awesome, uh, I learned from an awesome uh, podcast from uh, Dr. Robin Silverman, who's our character development and uh, personal development expert here at Sidekicks. And I'm excited to share that with you guys today. Anyways, if you would, if you would let me know that you're here in our broadcast, just down in the comment section below, say, hey, I'm here. And uh, if any times you have questions or anything like that, I would be more than happy to, you know, to answer those questions. So like I said, we're going to have about another 30 seconds, and then we're going to go ahead and get started because this is one that you're not going to want to miss. We're going to get, you know, we're going to be jam-packed, and then we're going to get right to it. So as you can see, uh, you know, I haven't even put books back up on my bookshelf or anything like that. They're actually going to come and they're going to remove that sink, although I kind of considered keeping the sink. That was kind of cool. But um, yeah, we're pretty much in here right now, currently in our, our new facility here in the in Fishhawk on the second floor at Park Square. We're actually, um, you know, we took over almost 5,000 square feet. And part of it we're occupying right now to teach our classes um, and do our summer camp while they actually work on the other half. The other part that they're, the part that they're working on just happens to be on the other side of my uh, office door there across the hallway. They're going to be removing some walls and then we're going to actually going to be putting in a third classroom. So we're going to have three total classrooms for training for our members. I'm really, really excited about all of that. So like I said, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started right now um, with that one, you know, that secret formula to help your kids, um, you know, to deal with big obstacles and as well as to, um, you know, or to deal with big feelings as well as to overcome, you know, obstacles. Um, you know, I've been training and, you know, one of the things that we, you know, one of the foundational philosophy here at Sidekicks for all of our martial arts, you know, for our martial arts programs, and ultimately what constitutes our black belt spirit is this idea of constant and never-ending improvement. It's actually a concept that's really cool that was uh, created by uh, W. Edwards Demings, um, who was actually an American, who helped revolutionize the Japanese manufacturing process. Um, you know, he actually originally started by pitching it to places like Ford and um, you know, Chevy and other companies in the United States to create zero defect, um, you know, manufacturing. And all of them, you know, it was just after World War II and they all poo-pooed it. Well, he took the same exact concept and went over to Japan and, you know, and uh, gave it to the likes of Sony and Toyota and Honda. And they all basically, you know, took to it like, um, you know, like it was a life preserver. And in fact, in very short time, uh, Japanese products went from being, you know, re uh, reviled, um, as you know, junk to being you know the type of products that if you wanted something quality, you wanted a quality car, quality electronic, then you turn to Japanese manufacturing because they had you know they were very well manufactured, they were reliable, all of those kinds of things. And so the goal for powerful days with uh, you know with Manny Cabrera is that we are going to do everything that we can to help arm you either as a parent or as a person um, or as a martial artist with the type of tools that you can use to continuously improve every single day. In fact, if you're living and you're not improving, then you're really just, you know, you've already peaked and you're just waiting to pass. And you know what? I don't want that for you. I want you to have the absolute best. So today, let's actually talk about your kids and let's talk about the secret formula of what we're going to do in order to help them to overcome big feelings. Because if you've got kids, then you understand that sometimes they can get very, very angry or, you know, sometimes they're very upset. And uh, we want to kind of help them through those things. So this information, uh, just to give you kind of a, of a reference point, I'm actually going to link it in the comment section later, um, actually comes from a podcast that I listen to. Um, it's one of my favorite podcasts. It's called How to Talk to Your Children About Anything with Dr. Robin Silverman. 
Um, and this podcast came when she entered from uh, an interview she did with uh, Dr. Wendy Young, who is an expert on helping children, you know, overcome, you know, er uh, anger through play therapy and um, the different, you know, different likes like that. Um, so during that time, um, you know, there, she talked about this like three uh, step process, which she actually used the acronym NOW. Um, so N meant something, O meant something, and W meant something. And she went right at it, um, you know. And so let's talk about, you know, first of all, let's talk about, um, you know, the type of feelings that, you know, your children you know, may be having, you know. The biggest one is when they become frustrated and upset, you know, or they become angry, um, has a lot to do with, you know, just being overwhelmed and not having necessarily the strategies to, once their brain kind of takes over into that high level uh, of, of anger and emotion, um, to bring them back down. And so that's how children sometimes tend, tend to spin and spin out of control. So if you come with your, to your children with the same kind of process all the time, it becomes a little bit easier to create a method for them to calm themselves down and then ultimately deal with their anger in a positive way. If you're feeling me so far, like if, you're, if, you're, if this information is interesting to you, uh, do me a solid. Go ahead and, and, and hit the like button below and let me know uh, or give me some hearts or give me some loves and, and let me know. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the secret formula. So like I said, the secret formula is now, N-O-W, now. All right, so the N actually stands for normalize. And so the first thing, you know, we want to teach children is that it's okay to be angry. Like we don't want to teach children that it's not okay to have feelings. Um, the days where, you know, we, start, we taught children that their feelings weren't valid or that their feelings were wrong to have feelings, um, those days are, are long gone and they never actually served us really um, in the long run to be able to you know, for help children or even as adults live long term or fulfilling lives. And so you know, we want them to know, we want to normalize their feelings, we want to let them know that their feelings are in fact normal. It is okay to be angry, it's okay to be upset, it's okay um, you know, to you know, to feel on the opposite end, to feel joy, to feel happiness. It's how you actually use those feelings and use those emotions um, that are the part that really makes a difference. You know, when you're angry or you're sad or you're upset, you don't want to use those feelings to hurt others or to hurt ourselves. I don't know about your kids, but, um, you know, occasionally one of mine will, you know, when he's upset or he's angry, you know, he'll hit himself in the head or something. And we want him to know that hurting yourself is definitely not... The, the solution to that problem. You want to help them to learn how to channel that in a different direction. So, you know, the whole goal of the, um, you know, of normalizing their emotions is for them to, under, to understand that, you know what, their feelings are normal. It's not, you know, they're not weird or abnormal for being angry about something, you know, whether it's because their brother or sister slighted them by taking a toy without asking or, you know, the bigger things of someone at school being mean or, you know, being hurtful towards them, or even, you know, just waking up and having a bad day, so to speak, you know. So that's what the end. The end stands for normalizing their behavior, making, letting them understand that their behavior is valid, it's real, and it's something that is okay. It's part of the human condition. It's part of being a human. Um, we don't wake up to be Vulcans, you know, and ultimately, if you ever watch Star Trek, um, you know that you know Spock understands that the emotional side is just as much is just as important um, as the logical you know rational side. The O though stands for offering strategies or offering opportunities um, to our children um, to help them you know to cope with their feelings. Um, one of the one of the strategies that we use with our children, me and my wife, um, when they're upset, is we you know we tell we show them how to. Um, do breathing, you know, the foundational, um, you know, foundational calming technique for your nervous system is through breathing, you know, and so we teach them to blow out their birthday candles or to smell the birthday cake and then blow out the birthday candles. Not like, like that, but to really blow, blow out the candles. Um, so that's one strategy that we, that we use in our house. Um, but it's, you know, it's offering them strategies and then offering them opportunities to do it, to remind them of doing it. Um, Dr. Wendy Young, in her interview uh, in the podcast that I listened to, um, you know, she talked about creating a mad box. And in that mad box, you had uh, crayons and markers and paper and Play-Doh and then giving them basically the opportunity to, number one, either to like to draw 
and express their feelings, you know, how they're feeling, exactly what their anger was like or whatever their feeling was, as well as giving the opportunity to manipulate and pound uh, uh, Play-Doh and to shape it and mold it. And so that giving them something tactile, you know, to do. So like maybe an opportunity in your family, your house might be to create a mad box. You know, that might be something um, that you could do. Then obviously creating other strategies such as to, um, you know, to help give them opportunity for some sort of physical exercise. You know, hey, would you like to run? Would you like to, you know, to bounce a ball? Or would you like to, you know, uh, whatever the physical, you know, opportunity is around you, you know, would you like to do a bunch of jumping jacks, you know, to kind of get that energy or that anger out? And then you can reapproach, you know, that feeling from a dissipated emotional state or dissipated, uh, uh, um, you know, you've worked it out. And so now you can approach whatever was the cause of that emotion from a little bit calmer and help them through it so that they can find a positive solution to their, you know, to whatever that original cause of their anger was, as opposed to, you know, just trying to punish them and shut them down. And then obviously, you know, so then that brings us to W. So the first, the N was normalize, you know, help them realize that they were, you know, their feelings were valid and that they were real and there was something that is uh, of merit to them. And then the second one was definitely to um, offer them strategies, give them opportunities, come up with a pre, you know, come up ahead of time with a, a, a framework or solution to the process so that your child, you know, knows, you know, that they can do those things. So maybe you might print some pictures out of a ball or a run or something and put them a little lower on the fridge so they know that they can come over here and look, okay, I can pick from, you know, one of these things is going to help me to calm myself down. Obviously, helping, you know, learning to, you know, breathing exercises, obviously, those always help as well. But the W stands for, you know, to, you know, work with them to manage their feelings, you know, and, you know, and their strategies on a regular basis. And so that one actually is a little bit tougher for us, obviously, as parents, because it requires us to be emotionally available. It requires us to work on modeling the type of behaviors that we want our children to follow. So for example, you know, let's say that you were on the phone and you had a frustrating call and rather than, and you know, as a parent, you're not going to want to just take it out on your kids as soon as you get off the phone, you know, we might do some breathing exercises or something ourselves, you know, in order to calm ourselves down. It might be a, a, a solution or a good strategy for you to in turn, instead of just going through your breathing exercises to talk it out, pardon me, aloud with your child and say, okay, that call was not what I wanted to be. That was a very frustrating phone call or that was a very frustrating situation. And instead of me becoming angry and allowing myself to do something that is destructive or allowing myself to ruin the rest of my day, I'm going to do these breathing exercises or I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do some exercise. Would you like to go through the exercises with me in order to, you know, show them that you're modeling those strategies as well? You know, because obviously with children, it matters a lot more what you're actually doing as opposed to what you're saying that they should do. Because the children are like sponges. They are watching everything that you do, and they're actually going to copy whatever it is that you are doing in order to cope with your own big feelings and emotions. And so this is the same thing that they would do. You would help work with them over overcoming challenges or obstacles. So such as not being able to get a move in the martial arts, or maybe there's a, a drill that they're having trouble with in gymnastics or soccer or something like that. You're going to help them by showing examples from your own life or things that you're doing that you're having difficulty with and show them how you're overcoming that frustration and then coming back at it with a better, more constructive process in order to overcome that obstacle. So this is a great strategy for dealing with helping your children learn how to deal with their feelings as well, not just deal with their feelings, but cope with their feelings and create, and create positivity out of their feelings as well as to overcome any obstacles or challenges that they may encounter during their life. So all of those are important in helping your child to develop. But you've got to remember that you have to be calm and emotionally available, that you becoming angry and, and overcoming them is probably not the best solution. In fact, I'll, I'll be honest, like that's, you know, escalating is one of the things that me and my wife talk about because when my kids become angry, upset, sometimes I become angry with them, you know, because their feelings seem, you know, often seem like, like they're, um, you know, they're becoming upset for the wrong reasons or whatever. And it's not for me to really decide whether the feelings are valid or not. It's for me to help them, you know, to cope and redirect and, 
and understand how to channel those in a positive way. So that's really my, my tips for you guys today. I hope that if you found this valuable and that you think that this was something that was useful to you, that you'll share it on your own wall or you'll, you'll message it directly to uh, a parent who could use um, some help, you know, maybe even, you know, show the, the uh, send the podcast. I'll link it below in the, in the comment section, you know, send, send the podcast to somebody that could use it because you know what, as a parent, as an, as a person who is becoming a better version of your own self, we can all use better information. Obviously my suggestion is, is that you don't, you know, start with, Hey, this, you know, be accusatorial when you're passing it along to someone. We don't want that for them. Of course. Um, nobody wants to be told that they're, uh, you know, that they're angry and over the top and they can't deal with their own feelings, right? Um, so, again, if we could ever help you guys in any way, don't hesitate to shoot us a message, comment below, send a carrier pigeon, smoke signals, whatever. We're always here for you at Sidekicks, and I'm excited for the opportunity to be here and to do this show with you. So, if for any reason you need me, just don't hesitate to reach out. Again, this has been Powerful Days with Manny Cabrera, and I want you to make it a powerful day. Remember, we're not going to have powerful days. We're not going to have great days. We're going to be intentional about every about that every step of the way. And I want you to make it a great day. I want you to make it a powerful day for you and for your family, and ultimately, and obviously for the subject of this, for your children. Talk to you soon, guys.